Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetgoddess.net. So today we're going to talk about cutting wood veneer with both our Cricut Maker as well as the Cricut Explore series. So wood veneer can cut with your deep point blade. That makes really thin wood projects possible on your Cricut Explore. Now this wood is definitely not thick enough to do any kind of structural work but we're going to make a cool project with it. So I have a wood panel and then I applied the veneer that I cut out on my Cricut Explore, actually this piece, to the front. So you can make projects with it with that wood look all with real natural wood veneer. So let's take a look at how to cut this on both the Cricut Explore series as well as the Cricut Maker. So here's a closer look at those veneers. They come in three different finishes, so cherry, walnut, and maple. Um, so they're super thin. So this wouldn't meant be meant to be like the structure of your project, but more like an accent on your project. Let me pull these out. So you can see there's two in each package and you can kind of see how thin they are. So it's almost like a wood paper. So you would use that to accent your project. And you can also see that you could form them. So you could wet it down and even form it even more so it would hold that shape um, as you were trying to you know, bend around. But we're gonna do two flat designs. So you're gonna need your wood veneer and I'm gonna use cherry and this walnut. So I'm gonna use two different kinds. And then you'll need your strong grip mat. A brayer is always super helpful for getting that material down on the mat. Painter's tape to make sure that it's down really well. And then they recommend like tweezers or something like this to help get it off that mat. So now I'm going to cut the wood veneer on both the Explore and the Maker. So it does use the deep point blade, so you will need that as well. And that also means that the Cricut Joy will not cut the wood veneer because it needs that deep point blade. So let's first look at cutting this on the Explore machine. So the first thing we're going to do is put this walnut veneer down onto the strong grip mat. And this is a 12 by 12 sheet. And then I like to use my brayer to just make sure that it's down everywhere. And then to just ensure that it's not going to move, let's use some painter's tape. Just barely get that edge. I usually just cut away this excess. That way it doesn't interfere with the Cricut machine at all. Now this mat is ready for our cut. So let's head to our Cricut machine and cut our design. All right, so I turn my dial to custom and then I'm gonna insert my deep point blade into clamp B. And I picked natural wood veneer right in Cricut Design Space from the materials list. Then we're just gonna feed in this mat with our material. I also wanna note here the wood grain. So you can see that the grain I ran along the mat. So you want to run it this way, not this way. So now let's hit our C and cut our design. Alright, so this cut four times did take a while. Before I eject it from the machine, I'm actually going to check it. So I just have kind of a, a weeding tool here. And I'm going to check a piece that I don't want to keep. So kind of like the inside. And it looks like it's cut 
all the way through, if you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and press this eject button and eject the entire thing. So I want to keep just a very small outside edge piece, but I'm going to go ahead and peel this tape up carefully. I will say right off that any type of really thin line didn't look doesn't look really good. And those were the insides of my design, so that's okay with me. But if you are wanting to do like a really thin line with this, you might experiment a little bit to see how thin you could go. Um, because some of these are like peeling, the veneer is peeling off. And it doesn't look really great. Alright, so this very outside piece I don't want to keep. So I can pull it up and discard it. While you're doing this, you can also kind of practice how much you can pull on this without messing it up. Alright, so now we're getting to the piece I want to keep. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to start peeling the mat back from my wood veneer. I can use something like these flat tweezers to kind of work it off if I need to. I'm going to go ahead and get all those little pieces off that I don't want as I'm peeling it back, but I'm not as worried about those as I am my larger piece. This did cut into my mat quite a bit, so I could probably do just three passes and would have been fine actually. That's something I always find I have to play around with is whether the Cricut settings are right for um, my machine and my blade because I think it kind of depends on how new your blade is. Okay, so then when your piece is completely off, you can kind of just shake all these little pieces off of this. And this is the piece I actually want, so this big cutout. So you can see I experimented a lot. I'm actually going to just use this outer piece, but I cut all sorts of different shapes, different sizes, different thicknesses. Like I said, the only ones I'm worried about are these very thinnest pieces like this one. Some of those the veneer messed up a little bit. Um, so if you're going to cut something thin, but otherwise this looks really gorgeous. So after everything's out of here, what are we going to do with this? So what I'm going to do is take a little wood glue and I'm going to glue it right to this other piece, this wood panel box for some gorgeous art. So we're going to do that at the very end, so I'm just going to take some wood glue and do that. But first, let's cut another design with our Cricut Maker and sort of compare and contrast the Maker with the Explorer and how each of those do. And this time we're going to use the cherry veneer. So this was the walnut, and this time we'll use the cherry. All right, so for the maker, I prepared the mat the same way. So this is actually a different strong grip mat, the cherry veneer, same preparation. And I'm going to use the same deep point blade that I did in my Explorer. So I'm just going to put that blade into my maker. And then, again, once in Design Space, I've picked the veneer setting. And now I can load my mat. And you'll also note on both the Explore and the Maker, I did not move the star wheels. They do not mar the surface of the veneer. Now we'll click the C to begin the cut.
So this time I only let it go three passes and then I checked right here in the corner to see if the pieces were lifting up and they are. So I'm going to check a few more and then I'll probably just remove this and not let it dig into my mat. So always when you're cutting something new, be sure to watch it really closely. And these are like all lifting up perfectly. And these are my scrap pieces. Alright, so I think I will just eject this. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and eject it. And then I'm going to remove this from the mat the same way I did the one for the Explore, and then we'll talk about putting our project together. So here's the second piece with all of the triangles removed. Now I will say, I took this out at three just to see what would happen, and some of these were not cut through, so I had to use like an X-Acto knife, especially against the grain. So you can take it out at three, use an X-Acto knife to remove any of it that aren't removed, or take it out at four and risk cutting into your mat. So it's just going to kind of be a trade-off. Um, I would probably run it through a fourth time just so all my scraps are cut through and purchase a new mat if I needed to. So now let's take a look at how to add this to our wood piece. So all I'm going to do is flip this over to the back. I'm going to add a glue that's good for wood. And I'm probably going to add it like all the way around the edges, in the middle some, just to probably not on every single line, but as much as possible. Then flip that over, put it on the wood, and then sandwich it between something kind of heavy for a few minutes just to let it dry and let it dry flat. And then there's our finished piece that was cut with the Explorer. So here, there you have cutting wood veneer with both the Explorer and the Maker. So cutting this wood is super easy, whether you have the Cricut Explorer or the Cricut Maker, you can definitely cut these wood veneer pieces. So if you liked this, if you like these projects, first of all, I will drop the cut file for this in the description below. I'll also drop an affiliate link for the wood veneer that I'm using, which is the Cricut brand. Now, if you pick up a different wood veneer, all wood veneers are going to be different. I would start with the wood veneer setting before you eject the mat. Check that cut, see if it's cut all the way through. If it's not, you can always hit the C on your Cricut machine once again and it'll start cutting again. Maybe let it go a pass or two then check it again to see if it's cut through. So I can guarantee that what I talked about will look, work with the Cricut brand of natural wood veneer, but I can't guarantee it will work with any other brands. So you will have to test those if you try to do the cut those on your Cricut machine. So if this video helped you at all, if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about cutting wood veneer or just about anything else that has to do with your Cricut machine, you can drop those questions in the comment section below and I will get to those as soon as I can. If you haven't already, we have Cricut videos every week. You should head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our Cricut crafting fun. So thank you all so much for joining me and pick up some wood veneer and get to cutting it no matter if you have the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Support Series. Thanks y'all and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.